Moroccan police try to disperse thousands of protesters from the streets using tear gas. They say the protesters hurled rocks at them and injured dozens of policemen. Many of the demonstrators were injured as well. Unrest has continued in the port town of Al Husayma in the northern reef region. It began last year with the death of a fish seller. He was crushed to death by a rubbish truck while trying to take back his catch, which had been confiscated by local authorities. His death has been compared to a Tunisian fruit seller who set himself on fire and helped spark the 2011 Arab Spring movement. Thursday was supposed to be a day of anger, which the Hirak al Shabi movement called a million man march. The police were present in large numbers because since last year, violence and protests have continued in Al Husayma. A number of activists and protesters were taken into custody and rally points were blocked as hundreds began to converge across the city. We are in a country where there is no freedom of expression. We have nothing here. We are only looking for freedom. What have you asked for? Hospitals? Work? Transport? What's wrong with that? The Hirak al-Shabi movement has gained momentum because people in the north have been demanding jobs and development. The ethnic Berber region has complained about corruption and marginalization for years. Many here say a crackdown by authorities and the arrest of the movement's leader, Nasser Zafzafi, has further added to the discontent. People in the capital Rabat also came out in solidarity with the protest in Al Husayma. They have called for the release of detainees and an end to the government's crackdown. Back in Al Husayma, the demonstrators remain adamant that their struggle for rights and an end to corruption will continue. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.